Welcome to Neurographic Art, where we explore the connection between mind and body as a creative method. Neurographic Art was designed by Russian psychologist Pavel Tishkarev in 2014. He believed that creative processes engage additional neurons in the brain and improve your ability to make decisions. Neurons are cells responsible for receiving sensory input from the external world and sending motor commands to our muscles. They are the basic unit of our nervous system, but more than that, their interactions define who we are as people. We have approximately 100 billion neurons. Graphic is the artistic use of pictures, words, shapes, etc. Visual images or designs on a surface. Neurographica art helps evolve our reality by engaging our emotional and aesthetic intelligence for discovering solutions to a variety of issues you may be working through. So think about a problem or challenge that exists in your life that you would like to find peace with, that you are looking for a solution to. Once you have that, write it down on the back of your paper in either a sentence or even a single word. Next, take a moment to relax your body and free your mind. Take a few deep breaths out and a deep breath in, thinking of it as negative vibes out, positive vibes in. The materials I recommend are a Sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolors, paintbrush, water, and masking tape. But as always, it's your choice of what materials to use. If you are going to be using watercolor like myself, I like to mask the edges, creating a very sharp, clean edge. It just creates a crisp look. If you are not using watercolor, feel free to skip this step. If you have sticky masking tape, you can use painter's tape or any masking tape. Go ahead and to get it less sticky, maybe place it on your clothing before you apply it to your paper. By doing this, when you take off and remove the tape, it will not rip or tear your paper. I also like to use this as a metaphor for the problem or our cause of stress that it can't exist beyond the confines of this particular space. Now you are going to begin to think about that challenge you wrote on the back of your paper and how are you going to overcome it? Typically, there is never a straight line to a solution. There are ebbs and flows and ups and downs. So with a permanent marker, preferably a Sharpie, you are going to start to draw those ebbs and flows, clear your mind, and begin to draw continuous expressive lines that fill up your piece of paper. Now, if you stop, you need to make sure that it's a continuous line and every line touches the edge of your paper. These are like scribbles, yet they are controlled scribbles. You are thinking about that challenge. There is no right or wrong way to do this or a specific number of lines that you need to create. Next, we are going to transform our art from a simple line drawing to a more beautiful detailed composition. By rounding off any corner where two lines intersect or cross, and then coloring that in. This is going to signify the rounding of intersections and sharp angles where there is a sense of recreating wholeness by softening the edges of our harsh, more negative thoughts into better intentions and more positive, peaceful thoughts while using the laws of attraction, which simply states that you will attract into your life whatever you focus on. So find a place of peace and a meditative state 
as you begin rounding off all of these corners. You will discover that this simple repetitive act brings about a peaceful connection between your mind and body. Next, you are going to add additional lines or shapes to your composition. Think of this as a metaphor for bringing about balance to both your life and composition, as well as taking control. Once you have finished drawing your additional lines and shapes, you will repeat your curved lines where all of the intersections take place. Neurographica essentially combines science and art. Russian psychologist Piskorev claims Neurographica awakens dormant neural connections, which stimulates positive change. Notice as you create this drawing how the image almost begins to look like neurons. Once you have finished rounding out any place where two lines meet or intersect, you are going to begin to apply color. Now, there are no hard rules to this process, but a general guideline is to just repeat colors throughout your sections. I am going to go slowly and meditatively using watercolor, making sure that I do each individual section. If you don't have watercolor paint, make an artistic choice on what kind of material you would like to use to add color to your art. They can be colored pencils or markers or crayons. These are choices you will make intentionally to add to your composition. Also, consider how certain colors make you feel. Maybe you're adding yellow, which makes you feel happy, placing it next to a cool color like blue to counteract those feelings. You can use colors together mixed inside of each individual shape to change the value or tone of that particular color. You also do not need to fill every single individual section with color. Again, these are all choices you will make as the artist. Once your painting has dried, you may carefully remove your tape, revealing a beautiful, one-of-a-kind, neurographic piece of art.